Hey, thanks for watching this super mega video. We just launched a Patreon page. You can go check out some exclusive content and it's pretty dang cheap. Cheaper than Netflix. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome the heck back. We're playing some more Sekiro. And if uh, y'all remember last time what we were doing, we were doing, uh, what were we doing, Ryan? Fighting stuff. F fight but now, guess who we're fighting again, Matt? Is this the owl guy? Yeah, and people have, people were saying, you don't need to fight him again to get the ending you want. And like, yes, I know. And I'm sorry I did that voice. A lot of people don't like it when we do the mocking voice. But, uh... <laughs> yes, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who are you? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I, I apologize so much. But, uh, this is my favorite fight in the game. So, oh, shit, really? Um, yeah, and we have the Tucker brothers. I forget if we even hey, said that in the beginning. But hey, hey, guys. They, they just, they sitting here on the couch with us, watching us play some Sekiro. This is Ryan's favorite because you're fighting your father, which Ryan normally did a lot growing up. <laughs> yes, it, 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 it reminds him a lot. Ryan's with both of my father. Ryan likes this because this reminds him of the second time he fought his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ooh, owl. Damn. So, hey, how hard is this one, though? Okay. Well, I haven't. Isn't this where you fought Madam Butterfly or Lady yes. Butterfly? See, I pay attention to the game. Madam Butterfly's the play. <laughs> no, that—that's the opera. M Butterfly's the play. Oh. I've never seen an opera. Oh my God. Uh, I—I I, I would like to. Everyone Jesus. always says when you see an opera, you hold like... up. Oh, oh. Well, Madam Butterfly is the play where the name Pinkerton's from. That's where they got the name. Oh, from. no way! Really? Yeah, yeah. There's a weed guy in it named in the name Pinkerton. Okay. Oh, oh shit! I'm forgetting everything that I had. Like, I'm a, I'm I haven't a, played this game in so long. I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna turn the TV down if y'all don't mind. Sorry, Jax. I'm sorry if you can smell my BO right now. Can you smell well, that? I can't actually. No. Really? Because no. I I'm I'm getting a whiff of it. I'm not getting from where I'm that sitting. That could be me because I just put my arm up. You should be clean, Matt, with the spa. I know we went. Well, yeah, but that was uh, that was yesterday. I my body decided to produce uh, body odor since then. Yeah, but yet it can't produce enough serotonin. <laughs> no. Okay, Harrison. Or enough testosterone to grow facial hair. But that's, uh, you know. I'm in the same boat as you, though. You know, you can grow a real mustache. I've seen it. But it you... took like a month and a half. It's a good picture when you had that, when you had just the mustache. Yeah. And like no five o'clock shadow on your chin or anything. It's a good one, man. I like it. I might grow the mustache back for E3 this year. <laughs> Should Please I? Please do. Matt, E3 I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna wear a mustache. mustache. I'm gonna have a mustache for E3. Hold on. Jackson just said E3 is way too soon for how long that mustache took you. If I get, <laughs> if I do the Rogaine, if I if I move it up from one Rogaine application a if day I to like five a day. Sperm in my <laughs> It's just every morning I wake up and Matt's just drinking a big old like cup of bull semen. Yeah, dude, it's, it's <laughs> a, like a, a, a lot of natural testosterone. Big old bull he just keeps mustache. them in the fridge like uncovered. You just has, uncovered glasses of bull semen. It has like a pudding skin on top. Oh god! Hey Ryan, you want the skin? I like peel the film off the top. Like, mmm, best part. It's like chewy. Yeah, suck it down. Well, what was what was everyone's first meme? Uh, our, all your base are belong to us. Really? Yeah, we, we got into about the same time, I guess. We got into the, the meme world. Cause like obviously like I saw shit like Leroy Jenkins. Oh uh, Leroy like, Jenkins. Uh, oh actually, Shoop to whoop. For me it was more like the meme videos on like stupid videos. No, no, I think what it was is what's the you're the you're the man. What's it called the the Try Guys. No no. Oh. It was like the Fuck. Flash um Adobe. What's it like you're the man dude or something? You know what I'm talking about Jack? That sounds familiar, but I can't you're the man dude. Let me figure it out. Really I just remember mine was like shit like Toons is the driving cat. Well, like, no, remember that it had like I don't know if that counts as a meme, but like it was like Edison Snoop Dogg with the Kirby. Oh, white oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the man now, dude. Yeah. Wait, it, it, would, it would be it would be like Snoop Dogg dancing. And they'd like they recreate the Kirby music with like Snoop Dogg. Sounds, yeah, right. So oh, that was the best time. website. Oh man, my god. I missed that. And there was a uh, Shoop to Whoop. He, <gasps> I'm a fire in my lasers. Oh um, god. There there, was, a lot of Bill Cosby stuff. Yeah, there, there was. I wonder um, if they knew. No, no, the, dude, that's when he was still America's dad. Well, the, the weirdest part is when we went to Philadelphia is that since it's from there, the, the metro station had all the destination announcements done by hand. I they didn't was, change that? I thought it was very untasteful. It's, I, I, I like you're they just now, kept it. You're now arriving at your stop. You're now arriving at the C platform. That's more like Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> I, I want a city where Larry the Cable Guy does all the metro things. Uh, it's actually uh, Tokyo. <laughs> hey, well, welcome to Tokyo. Uh, make sure uh, you see, you can uh, see where you're stepping, huh? 
What, what if was that one joke he made that was just like, Jesus Christ? Uh, Layer the Cable Guy? Yeah, he made one that was like really like homophobic joke. One. Uh, well, several, but he made one that was like... I remember we just listened to it on, uh, on Spotify. We listened to Eddie Murphy's stand-up special. That's still in my playlist. I need to take that out of my February playlist. <laughs> Wait, isn't it like, Why? Isn't there rumor that Eddie Murphy actually is... Yeah, Wasn't he caught? He was caught with the he was he was transgendered prostitute. Yes, yeah. he was. That's that's a fact. Uh, that he, he he like he I think he picked but, her up. That's not necessarily gay. Yes, but that, that's a debate for another episode, Jackson. Um, it's a debate. No, it's not a debate. It's not. A, it's not. It. But uh, basically, <laughs> Keep going, man. he got he got picked up or he picked up her and then he got caught like oh. or like there were pictures of it or he got pulled over or something. Um, and that's what? when he, he did the stand-up in response to that. <laughs> you know, Eddie, you don't have to make all these little hurtful jokes. Eddie, just, 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 dude, live your truth, man. A gay donkey actually, is what the, everyone wants. The, the, the stand-up was actually audio taken from a deleted scene of Daddy Daycare. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I when, the kid, on, when the kid with two dads came. I had that movie on UMD. Dude, I watched the movie so many you times. You had it on ago. UMD, like the little, like, PSP yeah. discs? That was one of the shortest-lived forms of, uh... Of uh, like media. Well, it was so bad because. Um, Wait, which ones? UMD. UMD. Remember the, the little discs. What lasted play? longer, that or Video Now discs? Oh shit. We should we should release all our Let's Plays only on UMD or in Video Now. The thing about UMD is that it, the PSP had to have a motor and a laser inside, which just ate up so much battery. Oh, I bet. I remember the first time I ever played a PSP, I thought it was like, that was the future. I loved my PSP. PSP is a good console. Yeah, it's a really good console. Uh, Pad upon anyone? Oh my god. I, Pad upon and Loco Roco were like two of my favorite games. Loco Roco is cool. I remember I played the Katamari for uh, PS Vita, which was kind of weird, because that that one definitely, you could tell, yeah. like, was not... It was just like a... Cash grab. Like, yeah. that one didn't feel creative like the other ones. It was also, so the, fun, but... The, the art was different. Like, the art wasn't that same, like, charming style. It was more kind of, like... Dumbed down. There was a this bit. resistance, like you know, the resistance, like. Oh, scary. the one on PSP was, it was so, so good. good and online. I would play that so much. I, I miss that. I, I miss the Vita so much. The Vita was like for the year that I used it intensely. Like, it was a good my console. console. Well, because they had so much indie games on it, so it was just so nice. To play so many indie games, like games. also really good AAA, like yeah. everything from like Persona 4 Golden to like Gravity Falls, which. I know it got ported, I even a sequel that I never played, but Gravity like, Falls, isn't that, that the was, TV show? Gravity oh. Falls is a TV show. Oh, the one Matt stole his triangle guys from. Jackson! <laughs> no, Gravity Rush, that's something though. Yeah, oh. Gravity Rush, Gravity Rush is awesome. The, the, I, the Vita, I remember like, it came out about the same time as the 3DS, and and I remember everyone was like, yo, dude, the Vita is about to kick 3DS's ass, and then it, uh, well, just too expensive. It, it did it's not. Like, I mean, that's what's so simple about it. The Vita really just died, you know? Oh, yeah, like, it, like, died. I think it, it did easy. the AR stuff, because remember the 3DS had the AR cards where you yeah. could film it? I think Vita did that a lot better, uh, but for some, 3DS just destroyed the Vita, I think. Well, the Vita didn't get games after a while. It didn't get games, and I was like, it, it just came out for, like, it was not... They're still making 3DS games, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it's interesting, okay, so, you know, you can go on your phone in public, you can be reading in public, and that's fine, but if you're playing, like, your PSP or DS in public, I still people think you're weird. What? So well, you are, Harrison. Right. Harrison. Gamer uh, that, 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 that's why that's why I'm standing up for gamers. I, I'll be speaking at a conference soon for gamer well, that's rights. That's actually why we were in DC on the tour. You're actually booking, looking at uh, getting places a, places we could speak at. Yeah, not even speak, Matt was picketing outside of all of the female politicians, telling them that they're the ones suppressing gamers. <laughs> yeah, the, it was really it was pretty fucked. Up. And, and he made sure to use the word female. That the the female politicians <laughs> are oppressing gamers because they won't have sex with us. Damn. Have you used a resurrect yet? Nope. Oh. You're doing really good, though, I gotta oh, say. Oh, don't say that, Matt. You're doing wow. horrible. You know, I was you avoiding saying him. that. You just fucked him. I mean, you've been in the zone over here. Auto you, zone. You, you have been blasting through it. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Damn. What have y'all been talking about? Uh, uh, we've been talking about games. The Vita. <laughs> rights, rights for no. gamers, mainly. Uh, that's one of the big ticket issues on the 2020 ballot, mm -hmm. is uh, rights for gamers. Gamers is a... Wait, would Trump be pro or anti-gamer rights? Actually, he's definitely... Well, he has Baron, so... Well, people who do support actually think gamer rights are a thing, I'm pretty sure vote for Donald Trump, so... Listen, we need rights for gamers. It's one of the most pressing issues of my presidency. We're gonna make sure our gamers can have sex with a woman. In my future. No more incel gamers. Baron, you will be an incel no longer. He does all of this just to get his youngest son laid. <laughs> <laughs>
Baron, you're gonna get pussy. I promise. Your daddy was the president, Dad, I okay? Just, I just want to have a red gem tutorial. Baron's just gonna grow up to be like Alex Jones, where he's like, actually, I lost my virginity at eight years old. I'm, I'm quite ashamed Wait, of it. Alex, <laughs> I'm quite ashamed thing. of it. No, because he does the whole thing where he like, talks about how many women he slept with, and he's like, I'm ashamed of it. Oh, where he's I like, wish I hadn't done that. He's like, he's like, I'm not gay. I slept with about 300 women. I, I've, <laughs> yeah. given, I've given so many women so many orgasms all the way to climax, and I just, I'm ashamed of it. They said I was the most pleasurable man, biggest man I've ever been with. I, I hate it. They said they've never had a squirting orgasm uh, like me. <laughs> I just imagine. Oh God, no. dude! I just imagine how red his face must get when he comes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's got to be a pretty powerful ejaculation. All oh, that like anger like and everything that, pinned well, up. Well, he's on one of those all meat diets, I'm sure. Is oh, that, dude, that's 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 some also, thick. That means that's his thick load must taste so. When bad. you eat that much red meat, God. I mean, I, his part how do all those MRA people not have scurvy? Like, because they're so sour. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Then they're sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Men's rights activists. Wait, remember that picture we saw in Massachusetts and it was like Massachusetts Restaurant Association? Oh, yeah, but it's just MRA. the MRA. Super Mega, more like Super MRA. Is that the new, is that the new path? Yeah. I'm we're, we're, we got, we're, we're gonna be calling Men's Rights Activism Channel. Actually, could Super Mega just become one of those channels that like flip restaurants, like dying restaurants? <laughs> and Super Mega comes in and just guys, you knew us for our let's plays, but now we're flipping restaurants. I like it if like Ryan just demolishes them and just comes with a sledgehammer and then just like doesn't appear the rest of the episode and makes and like Matt does everything else. So it's like Ryan just comes in, and just like breaks the walls, breaks down, down with, walls. Like, he like grunts yeah. heavily, gets all sweaty, breaks down with a sledgehammer, and then just I oh! Think, I think the menu just needs more st uh, steak and milk. <laughs> steak and milk? That's not bad, dude. And Matt's like, put milk steak. Now put it on a revolving tray. <laughs> Can we allow smoking indoors? <laughs> Perfection. Ryan, you did it. Yep. <laughs> is, that, is that your victory speech? Yeah. Yep. I'm so proud. Dude, you did really good. Thank Super you, proud man. of you. It's very sweet of you. Did, how was that? It was fun. Yeah? Why did it's you my so favorite fight in the game. Why'd you get so much experience from that? Because, uh,. I don't, I don't know. Because you don't get that much experience from fights, right? Like, not that much. Well, this is your, uh, this... I, how much did I get? I got, like, like I got like 3,000, like, about near 3,000 yeah. experience. I went to the year 3,000. What I happened? Was, not, well, not much, not much changed. changed yeah. what, what, what else? Uh, everyone lived underwater. Ooh. Was Andre there? The giant? No, Andre 3,000. Oh. No, nah, he's, he's dead. What? Yeah. It's the year 3,000. You think he's still alive, dude? I don't know. Okay. That was really good, Ryan. Should we, uh, let's go check on that lady and see if she's opened up her doors. You know what I'm saying? That's what Wolf's really after. He's trying <laughs> to get a little bit of slit. A little, a little, a little gash? From a child? Oh. This is a child. This is the Hello! child of rejuvenating waters. <laughs> oh. Oh, are they talking about the, uh, the doctor? Is there a doctor in this game? The one who gives you all the gourd seed stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Ryan, women can be doctors, okay? <laughs> believe it or As not. If. <laughs> yeah. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't think they have the brain power. <laughs> My mom's gonna maybe be like a, Maybe like a one. dentist or something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a dental maybe technician. A, maybe a dental assistant or something, <laughs> just to start off. Yeah, maybe like a nurse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have a term, it's called nurse. <laughs> well, I, I like the idea that somebody just thinks nurses are female doctors, yeah, like... No they're not? You mean a nurse? What do you mean? She's she succeeded in becoming the cradle. Yes. Oh, take the hand, the cats dude. In the cradle in the peak. Yes. Cold. It's cold, much like an ice house. Oh, like the beer? I yeah, dude. Let's, let's crack one open right now. I can crush an ice house right now. Oh, they freeze as they float on her face. Are you gonna get her tears? Yeah. Wait, isn't that one of the tears. items you need, right? Yeah, that is the item I need for the ending that I wanted. <gasps> or that we all wanted. Right? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. 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 Get it. Frozen tears, dude. You have to fight the two. White snakes and uh. White snake. You gotta fight the two lovely uncles. I wish I knew a white snake song so I could make a funny reference there. I I can do it. I've done it like 30 times in this playthrough. Do it. Is this love? Cool. That I'm feeling. Um, is this the love? Is that white snake? That's now white it's. Snake, yeah. Oh god. <coughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> it's everywhere. F